what do we get when news migrates to the internet? Because we have a sense of what we're losing. We're losing a business model that supports uh, the institutions that we've all been used to, the newspapers, uh, the large newspapers. I used to work for a lot of them, and I, I was happy doing that. I loved being a newspaper reporter. But as we understand what we're losing, we're losing a sense of, of an institution, of a business. I mean, newspapers, I'm not sure the Christian Science Monitor ever fit with this model, but when they had monopolies in cities, they used to practically print money. They were very profitable businesses. That has gone away. But the yen for journalism, for real information in communities nationally, is practically universal in virtually every culture I've ever encountered, every country. People want to know what's going on. There is an audience for genuine and news and facts. So how does the internet help us with that? What do we, how should we be thinking about that? Um, well, first of all, it's like going from 2D to putting on the glasses and seeing things 3D. Uh, you get new dimensions to your information experience. And we like it at, at the Center for Future Civic Media at MIT, we, we're thinking about and building out the tools and practices that, that take advantage of these new functions that were allowed when we go on the internet, when we go to cell phones, when video gets spread horizontally through social networks. We can gain something. And I, we've seen it in the last election cycle that's just ended. We get participation, we get civic engagement. Because old news, for all the good things that it enabled people to do and learn, it was top down, it was experts speaking to the amateurs, and you couldn't really speak back. And if you didn't have a printing press, you really didn't have a whole lot of power. Well, there's been a shift of power now. There's a shift of agency from the publishers and the experts and the broadcasters to lots of people out there.